would that be blasphemy? All the guys that have been calling for the big bubble for, you know, all the history and everything, and I just go ahead and soul swap them. Hey, what up and welcome to another episode of Crease Teeth. And if you haven't worked out already, I'm a massive fan of Air Max. Like, I've got... Air Max 90s, Air Max Zeros, Air Max LTDs, Air Max 1s, I've got Air Max Plus, also known as the TN. I'm looking around, what do we got, 97s, like, the list goes on and on, right? So Air Max Day for me is one of my favorite times of the year. Usually, there's a dope release with it, right? Last year, I feel like there was. We just didn't get it here in Australia, and the very limited pairs that we did get, they were women sizing. So trying to get like the bigger sizes, a size 10, which is like 11 and a half women's, impossible. Plus, they're only they're only quite recently reintroducing the Air Max One back into the world, so people were going wild on them. This year's a little different. Look, we hit on the big bubble Air Max. That's great. Um, I went on the in-store and the online raffle with InQ, and I hit on the online. I wish it was the in-store because then I could pick them up. I could get them on there. Actually. So I don't know what to do. Maybe I, maybe I still go into the city, try and pick them up in store from somewhere else. I don't know. Do we need two pairs of the big bubbles? Maybe we get one for normal big bubble purposes and soul swap the other, I don't know. Because <laughs> I still prefer what I know to be the OG, not the OG or the OG, triple OG, whatever the fuck you want to call it, but I don't know man, it's cool. It's cool that I've got a raffle win, I saw other people getting it, check my emails first time, didn't see it, check my email second time, saw it, so. Other than that, a little polo pickup from Glue. T-shirt I saw when I was in Sydney, they didn't have my size, I had it up here, and it was 30% off. How could you not? What you're gonna see right here next is probably in Sydney, so let's do that. Like, I remember walking around Sydney, and it was sad, man. Like, no one really knew about it. There was one dude hit me up in the street that said, Happy Air Max Day. That was dope. But this year, they were re-releasing not only an iconic shoe, but, like, the first iteration of it before there was an issue. With the Air Max 1, they initially had this big bubble, but... They did 400,000 pairs right, and in certain climates, when it was cold, it would burst the bubble quite easy. So that was about mid-production. So quickly, they changed it to what we probably all know it to be now. Which is, you know, that type of midsole with a smaller bubble. When it was announced that they were gonna bring it back, the images initially that I saw, I didn't like. I'm still not sure if I like this one or that one, but being that it's the anniversary red, I've never had a pair, I had to at least attempt. My idea was I was gonna go into a couple raffles and then go into Sydney for like Nike releasing them on the day. So I went into, I went in for the InQ one, I went into the laced one. There might have been it. I'm trying to think, there might have been one more, but I didn't go into too many because I figured with InQ and laced, like they'll send you an invoice and you can do it later. So if you hit on double, you can pick which one you actually want. Um, usually the one with less shipping, but I had an issue with mine. So we've hit on InQ, it sent me a thing, it said it would send me a thing later saying, you know, pay the invoice and that. I've just checked it, they've sent it to me and I've clicked on it. It basically says that it's already been paid. So I don't know, do they, do they fuck up and I end up with a free pair? Like, I'm trying to fix this out, I've got no idea, but...
see what happens. I was just on the phone with a dude in Sydney, you know, just checking that mom wasn't like an in-store one, but it definitely is an online one. My name wasn't on his list on any of the pairs. And um, he told me, you know, I can come in and if people haven't picked them up by one, you can do that, which I do know from InQ, but I think we're gonna have to go to Sydney tomorrow just to be able to pick them up. Just go to Nike or wherever just to get a pair because I don't think we're getting this pair, honestly. Like, you gotta pay by Monday, and then, like, you can't even contact customer service at head office until Monday either, so. What do you do? You can't make this up, bro. Like, feels like I'm making this shit up for the drama, for the content, whatever, but. They sent me the invoice, I only hit on InQ, so it had me thinking maybe these are a little bit more limited than I thought. I start seeing people sell them online, I'm like, I'm going to miss out. I... I got sent the invoice, I clicked on the invoice, it just came up saying that it had already been paid. I was in two minds of this. Do I... Okay, it's already been paid. Do I just see if they send me a pair? Like, they got all my details. Maybe they just sent me a pair. But when I went onto the NQ website, there was no new order. There was no order for that pair. I need to fix this up. Customer service only operates Monday to Friday. So I just sent an email saying help. Then I took it to IG and... All right, so I feel like I've got the drama sorted with NQ, right? I, I said to him and I thought, you know, you know, if I need to go somewhere to fix it up, I'm like, I'm willing to go to Sydney to do that because for me, it's better having the pairs on Air Max Day, right? For me, I feel like, you know, it's going to feel a bit more festive, but we managed to get it. We're going to pick them up and I'm just so thankful to the people at InQ for working this out on a weekend, man. Like their staff that you know usually fix these kind of problems don't work on a weekend, but their, their Instagram account manager smashed it all the love to you bro or female or whoever you are whatever you're doing but i'm just so stoked we're gonna be going down to sydney i'm gonna i think we're gonna be meeting up with uh julian kicks and craze and maybe g as well picking it with g they've got dubs as well so it'd be dope to get like all our pairs together and everything like that see what air max we got on feet for the day and you know while I'm down there, I feel like I'm seeing the black and white gum rubber sole orange label SB Dunks. I need a pair of them. So we're going to try and get them in store in a 10 and a half. I'm seeing 10s everywhere, but not a 10 and a half. And I want to save on the shipping, man, because it feels like, I don't know what it is, but with SB Dunks at the moment, it's like what used to be a local store here in 50-50. It's now an online store. They're charging like 200 plus for a pair of SB Dunks. So it's like resale prices though. I think there was one even for 300, right? Crazy. And then like other stores are just charging the earth with shipping. It's, it's like a tax, man. They know that while there are people like me who collect sneakers and have been a skateboarder my whole life, there are a lot more people that just resell them for money and, you know, they're trying to get a couple bucks out of that market. So I, I don't blame them, but I hate to see it. So we're going to do that. That's tomorrow, but you're going to see tomorrow right now. Yo, I just realized that I RSVP for the Air Max Day party and everything, and it's in Melbourne, so... RSVP for two tickets as well. I put my name and then I had TBA as the second. They go last name and I go TBA. I don't know who I'm bringing. I don't know who's going to come through to something like last minute. And being that it's in Melbourne, neither of us going. So. so the plan was first thing in the morning, we're going to go to Sydney. We're going to catch up with. We're gonna see who we could see around, catch up with some of the boys, get our pairs all together with our raffle wins, and see what's on feet. We're also, Adam was coming along, so if he didn't have a pair, which I didn't think he had too many Air Max, he was gonna, I was gonna force him to buy a pair, right? To buy a pair of Air Max to fit in with this whole thing. And 
pick up my pair from EQ because obviously we sorted that. Shout outs to Gant, sort of great social media team at EQ. You guys killed it and I was able to get my pair on the MX day. So let's go to Sydney and do all that. All right, it is officially MX day. We're heading down to Sydney. We're gonna catch up with Julian, G, and Adam's gonna come with us. I don't think he's got any Air Max, so he's gonna have to buy some on the day, but I'm still gonna give him shit the whole time until he does, so. Let's go. They are the furthest thing from Air Max, and oh. your feet will die wearing them joints. Oh, hold on, I'll get the Jordan, uh, the 7s just Yeah, grab a spare pair, because, um, fear of gods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're in Sydney. You need to buy a pair of Air Maxes. Air Max day, and you do not have a pair of Air Maxes. I you, do. You do, but you didn't bring them. No, so. no, why? I mean, the fear of God's got some air in them, but I ain't counting them. Maybe we can get, if we can get the big bubbles, you have to get them, I feel like. If we find a pair of big bubbles, I'll grab them, but if not, then we might have to Straight set to feet? Twice. Yeah, may as well. It'll be more comfortable than these. Let's do it. That's the brand new Air Max silhouette. Very heavy. This is interesting. This is a metal. This is a metal. Oh, would wear What would you do that for? <laughs> kind of Air Max. Not too bad. Ah, oh, we're just having a look. How bad is it when you ask the Nike employee what day it is and he doesn't know it's Air Max day? He just says it's a Sunday. He had no idea about the Air Max ones. This kind of turned into Air Max day at last year. First place we go to is Nike. I'm expecting to see a lot of people there, there's no one there. I'm expecting to see the UNC 5s, UNC 5s were there. Plenty of them. Probably didn't need to buy my pair from Foot Locker. Probably could have just bought them in store. Doesn't matter. No Air Max ones there. And like I asked dude when we go downstairs, I'm like, yo, you haven't got the big bubbles? He's like, what? And I'm like, the Air Max ones that dropped today. He's like, oh, nothing dropped today. Nothing dropped today. I'm like, do you know what today is? He goes, yeah, it's Sunday. So bro, it's Air Max day. He's like, no, I'm not here, it's not. I was bewildered, absolutely bewildered. And we're walking away like, like what the fuck? <laughs> like, even Adam that doesn't have Air Maxes, like he's got Jordans, Dunks. He's like, it's Air Max day. How do they not know? Crazy. They don't have a pair. We got a subtype. I don't think they had them in store. I don't remember. But they at least knew it was Air Max day. We got an inQ. They know it's Air Max day. Everyone but the Nike stores and this happened last year like last year the same thing. They had no idea crazy That's a limited edition uh, Shima Shima. It's like a retro or something that came out years ago I believe they had the, the hams, but only size 7. 
You even liked them, those Air Max yeah. ones. If they had a size set, I most likely would have grabbed them, to be honest. Very... What's, your, what's your thoughts on the reimagined threes? You just saw them. Oh, clean, nice, normal colorway. Something I'd probably buy for a first time three. I would prefer just the normal white cement, but I'll still get them anyway. We were meant to meet up with Julian and G and try and do a whole little thing. You know, there was never anything official, but like I was like, yo, we sh this is what we should do. They dipped in, got their pairs, dipped out. So it is what it is. We did, however, catch up with Pierre, who I've been talking to for ages. We need to do a collection video. He's moving to Queensland. He's got like storage sheds of a collection, like the most epic collection, doubles in most and... We caught up with him. I apologize to Pierre, we didn't actually introduce you. We were just on the way to get my pair from NQ. He was hoping to get a pair to, you know, show a little bit of his anniversary joints with the highlighter, but we'll have to catch up properly, do it properly. When you're all settled in at the new place, I am due to go to Queensland this year sometime. So, let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. I remember when they first come out, I slept on them, bro. I was just like, nah, I don't like the highlighter yellow, Dude, but... I can recall, I picked them up in Foot Locker. Yeah, I'm going to have a night there, and that was easy, man. Oh, you went in Pitt Street Mall night? Yeah. I have any I want Nah, I think it's like after the... Yeah, after the raffle. 12. Yeah. 10 minutes of life. I'll wait, I'll wait for 10 minutes. I would too. I'm going, that's actually my double up thing. I'm going to wear one on a deep one. Are they still there? Yeah. You like the shoes? I don't. I like the cramps. You know I like them? Never take off, mate. I'm a fan of the yeah. table off, dude. Did you get the... The ladies. The ladies? Yeah. I... If I was a Parramatta fan, I'd be all over the wrist here. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Pay 1350 for them? Yeah. Which is better, you reckon? The black or the flip? I still reckon the original one's better. The original ones are the best part. How do you feel? It's not quite Air Max, but it does have Air Max in it. It's a UNC shoe, it's more than enough for me. And no points. No points. I tried to yank the points and no points. You didn't get an Air Max, you did get a UNC 5. We're walking past Nike, we're walking past Subtype one more time. 
Are you prepared to buy an Air Max or no? Nah, there aren't any appealing styles that'll probably be in my size. So you're desecrating the Air Max though? I got a Jordan 5, it's close enough to a Jordan, uh, to an Air Max. It does have Air Max, I feel like that's Air Max. It has a bubble in it. Yeah. I still can't believe that Nike didn't know that it was Air Max Day. Inkyu did. Old mate at Inkyu pulled out the fucking flea markers, the Vapor Max, so onwards and upwards, tops. That's pretty cool. Still looks kind of weird, bro. I like the look down. You know what I mean? Looking down. Yeah, but as soon as you wear that, that crease is going to go out. That's what happens with suede. Yeah, right. Someone's tried them on. Fuck's sake, yeah. Go try it on, Pat. Might have been the last one. That's what happens, bro. He said that won't repair on the shelf. What's wrong? Your fear of God's hurting your feet? Them horrible fucking Peter Pan exclusive fucking shits. They're a great shoe, they're just not made for eight feet. But they're not made for any feet, especially walking around in the city. That's his contribution to Air Max Day, people. Straight the feet. Just got back from Sydney, been wearing these pretty much all day. They're comfy, they're not the most comfy Air Max one I've ever had, but they are comfortable. Looking down on them, it's a bit weird, it's got that different shape, but I'm not sure about this still, but full review soon. But this is what you all came to see. Big Bubbles, Air Max 1. The original design of it. Even when you look in the posters, you see a bubble that big. Now for me, up until this release, I didn't really know that it wasn't just the original release and that was it and then over the years it got smaller and it's more aesthetically pleasing. I didn't know that part. I didn't know about them bursting because of the cold air because obviously all I've seen in the time was the posters, so that's what I'm going off, right? For me, I put these on feet. I wore them for most of the day. They're not uncomfortable. I will, however, say, like, you would think with the extra air, that would be a lot more comfortable than a normal Air Max one. They're not the most comfortable Air Max one I've got. I would say the two are yellows are a lot more comfortable than these. I think they're a bit more stiff, a bit more rigid. These, whether it has to do with better quality materials, I'm not too sure. The midsole is very stiff and rigid. The shape, when you're looking down on them, 
is more rounded. It reminds me of like New Balance. When you're looking down at your feet with a 574, it kind of looks like that. It's a completely different shape. Now in terms of being able to, you know, do the retro justice, I wasn't around back then, so I couldn't tell you. From the images I've seen of the original shoe, I'd say yes, I'd say they've done the original justice. Will this be a once off type thing? Or will they continue this like how they've done with like reimagined and that sort of thing? I don't know. There's rumors that they're gonna do the blue as well. Me personally, give me, give me this shape. Give me that midsole every day. That midsole right there. I get it, the storytelling, especially for Air Max Day, amazing. But give me, give me that. That's what I prefer. Me personally. What's crazy is with the women's pair, well not the women's pair, the kids pair. Shout out to Yaz, but she picked up her dub and they were kids, small foot. I feel like she could do both. She went the cheaper option, but her pair had like the normal midsole, the normal airbag. Even though they were calling it Big Bubble, I have to show her. But it had the normal size midsole. There's always differences between kids and adult shoes, but like I'm looking at them, like you can see the lines that are normally there on the normal midsole for the Air Max One. I was jealous. Don't get me wrong, I'm stoked I was able to get a pair. I kind of want to soul swap them. Would that be blasphemy? All the guys that have been calling for the big bubble for, you know, all the history and everything, and I'll just go ahead and soul swap them. Maybe I'll do that with a second pair. I'll get a second pair and soul swap them because initially, like, like I said, I only hit on the one raffle out of three that I entered, but they are sitting. I'm pretty sure Laced put their pairs up. Actually, no, I didn't go into Laced. I didn't go into the Laced raffle because they were only doing it for locals. They were doing local only. You had to be within the vicinity to pick them up on the day, which is dope. I love when they do things like that for their local community. Not so much for me when like the only raffles I seem to hit on are Laced. And NQ now, but look, I'm stoked I have these in the collection. It's definitely a talking point for anyone that kind of doesn't know the history. For me, when I look at it though, if you didn't know the history, you'd look at it and go, bro, that's a fake pair. It, I don't know. It just, and, and what it all could come down to, not so much that, you know, I like that because of the looks, is if you've looked at something for so long, that's what you're used to. That's aesthetically pleasing to you. Like if that had come out, if that had been out for ages and the other one was the OG, then they brought it back. Maybe it's the same. Like if you're used to this, maybe that's what you're into. But like if you're used to the other one, that's how I feel. I'm glad I got the pair. I hope it's a one and done though. I just, I don't think there's any point doing any other colorways with this when essentially the big bubble was only ever done with the university red, so. I don't know, man. I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you down with the big bubble? Are you not down with the big bubble? Did you cop them, did you not? I know people that are like hoping they go on sale and gonna pick them up then. I think that's crazy. I don't think they're gonna go on sale. The fact that they're sitting but they did like sell out a bunch of other places and as it is like this was only yesterday this was literally like picked them up yesterday content today drop on tuesday so i don't know leave it in the comments let me know let me know in the comments what you're feeling big bubble versus normal bubble whatever leave it in the comments like share subscribe we'll be back twice a week peace Fancy bumping in you here. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do this shit.